All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I need to tell you guys a crazy story. So there's this event in December called the Game Awards. They basically give awards to every single game throughout the year. And the biggest one is obviously the game of the year. Now, as someone who loved Spider-Man 2, you can see I have the 19 inches of Venom. And uh, yeah, I absolutely loved Spider-Man 2. I honestly thought Spider-Man 2 would win. So I decided to make a reaction TikTok of the live awards. And this happened. And the game of the year is... Spider-Man 2. Come on. Come on. Baldur's Gate 3. Light. Yo. I was heartbroken. I had my he Green robbed. Goblin shirt Spider -Man on. Spider-Man got robbed, bro. So as you guys could see, I had no idea what Baldur's Gate 3 was. I was absolutely heartbroken. And through that pain, I said nobody plays Baldur's Gate 3. I actually made this really funny video of me reacting to them winning more awards. So look how funny this was. The game award goes I'm going go to Final Fantasy. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> that was Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Best multiplayer. Fighter 6 and Super Mario Bros. I'm going to go Wonder. Street Fighter 6. And the game award goes to... Come on. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our players. They were winning sword, everything. This random fans. game is winning Baldur's everything. Spider-Man 2. And the game award goes to... Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> What game is Baldur's Gate? So as you can see, I've never played that game before. And this video went absolutely viral. As you can see, this has almost 400K likes. And both of my videos of me reacting to Baldur's Gate winning has 6.6 .6 million and 4.6 million, which is about 11 million total views. I also posted it on Instagram and it got like 7 million views as well. So with all the views, I got a total of around 20 million people watching me be sad about spider-man 2 losing game of the year so obviously i got a lot of hate and a lot of people actually made fun of me because i didn't know which game this was or i guess i bashed on it without even trying it so i decided one day you know what everyone's telling me that this game baldur's gate 3 deserved game of the year so i'm gonna try it so if you guys see next to me this is my first time ever playing baldur's gate 3 i actually only streamed it on tiktok i didn't think it was gonna be a big deal i actually just played it for fun and that's why it's only vertical because i didn't stream or record it on twitch so there's no horizontal version of my first day playing it but as you can see here this cutscene was actually pretty cool like it looks like a movie i'm not gonna lie the graphics look insane on pc it was like a movie <laughs> wait that's actually crazy so obviously i came into it thinking i was just gonna play it for that one stream just for fun to kind of troll the Baldur's gate community and then never play it again go back to playing warzone go back to playing spider-man and let me tell you guys right now where we stand i have 56 hours played of this game and i've streamed it every single day since this day okay so you start off by creating your own character and i'm not gonna lie guys the customization of this game is absolutely insane like you can create any type of character you want you can make your character literally look however you want and this was my final product this is bartholomew the barbarian he is a halfling aka a small king a short king and everybody loves him okay there's people literally making fan art for him let me show you just look at this. Someone made fan art for Bartholomew the Barbarian. Bleeding Fawn sent this in our Discord. Look how beautiful this is. This is my beautiful Bartholomew. He has a beautiful bob. And man, I, first of all, I have to say this. The Baldur's Gate 3 community has been so amazing, guys. You don't understand. Like, my first stream playing Baldur's Gate 3, I had like 200 viewers on Twitch. And I had a thousand viewers on TikTok. Like, I've never been shown that much support playing any sort of video game. So, with you guys showing me love, it's made me want to play this game more and more. So, I finished Act 1 in about a week and a half. But bold. Show me your cooter. I'm a smack. Huh? I thought it was one guy. Wait, wait, chat, 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 chat. She don't know who Bart is. She ain't never seen Bar she ain't never seen somebody like me. She ain't got that dog in her like I do. I oh god she doesn't. Oh So obviously I've never played any sort of RPG slash DND type of game. I've really never ever tried it. The closest I've ever really had to a turn-based game is probably Pokemon. And I don't even know if that counts. But with the help of the chat, we have been able to complete Act 1, and it was absolutely a blast. My main goal is to riz up Shadowheart. So Shadowheart is this black-haired... She's, she's my ting, you know what I'm saying? Bartholomew really wants her. 
So we have been rizzing her up and trying to clap her cheeks for the longest time. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, but as of today, we have not been able to do it yet, but I'm pretty sure we're close. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to watch me play this game, I play it every single night on Twitch. So make sure to go support me over there. But obviously, this is 50 hours of gameplay. So for me to actually show you guys all of it would be way too much. But I have made a YouTube channel dedicated for only my VODs. So if you guys want to watch my full playthroughs, the link is in the description below. The YouTube channel is called Matt Cracks Gaming. So be more than welcome to go over there, watch all my VODs if you actually want to see the full story. You can also see all of my VODs on my Twitch as well if it's easier for you. So Baldur's Gate 3 has three different acts and this game is full of content. To finish this game, it kind of takes like 100 to 200 hours and that's if you rush it. If you really take your time, it could take like 500 plus hours. There's some people in my chat that have done like four to five different playthroughs. They have like 6,000 hours. Play I don't know. The people in my chat are insane. And a lot of you are probably watching this video right now. And I love you guys, man. This game has really opened up my eyes to this sort of story mode, kind of like adventure style games. I've been playing Call of Duty every single day straight since the pandemic and even before that. But I really started creating gaming content during the pandemic and I kind of felt stuck on Warzone. I felt like I couldn't expand from it. I was really scared to try other games. And ironically enough, man, Baldur's Gate 3, I made a video of me making fun of it. I decided to try it and now I'm absolutely in love with it. It's like so funny. Like it's the craziest thing. I really thought Spider-Man 2 was going to win it. I streamed a lot of Spider-Man 2 as well. Did a lot of content on it on my TikTok and it did very well. So I honestly thought Spider-Man 2 was the game of the year. I, I saw it was so viral when it came out and, and being fully honest i never heard of Baldur's gate 3 like a lot of people told me bro this game is huge how have you not heard of it i guess i'm not following the right gaming accounts i don't know bro i don't know why i didn't hear of it but either way it's never too late i think i redeemed myself you know i, I did make fun of the Baldur's gate community i made fun of the game but as a man I put my pride aside and i said let's try this game let's see what it's all about and like i said i have 56 hours played i'm playing it every single night and if you've never played this game guys I recommend this game bro like speaking as a person that has a TikTok brain I have the attention span of a three-year-old I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it I thought this game was gonna be very boring because it's very dialogue based every decision you make is what creates the story so you have freedom to do anything in this game like you can go up to a person and slash them with a knife and they could be the most important person in the game but they still let you kill them and then the storyline will completely change based off of what you did there or you could be nice to that person or you could hate that person you know like there's literally six different options per npc and every npc you meet has a storyline that leads to a greater story it's the craziest thing guys like literally you could go around the map and you just see npcs everywhere there's random there's a random lady over here. If you talk to her, she ends up being evil and she will kill somebody that you knew in the future. It's the craziest, it's the most complex thing. I really can't explain what this game is without you guys trying it. When I heard that Baldur's Gate 3 won, I searched up some gameplay and I judged the game. And I'm not gonna lie, I made fun of it as well. But I'm, I'm telling you guys, number one, the storyline, there's 17,000 different endings. So every single person that plays this game is gonna have a different experience. It's not like what I did is what you're gonna do every answer you make every single person you kill has a part in the big story so it changes everything like this game is so insane i don't know how they even thought of this there's like a million voice actors literally you could be walking and there's like 35 random people around you and you could talk to every single one of them and they all have different voices different accents next the cool thing about it is that it's split between three acts so act one you know you kind of start the storyline you start learning where you're at Act two is where the story progresses. A whole new map is shown. And again, the story's very, very action filled. And there's some crazy stuff that happened. And right now I'm starting act three, which is the final act. And apparently this is the longest act. So I guess I still have 100 plus hours left to go. But I wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys a update of my halfway point and how Baldur's Gate 3 absolutely changed my mind about it. And yeah, I think I redeemed myself, man. Like this game has absolutely changed me as a person, as a streamer, as a content creator, because I've actually expanded my taste and I've tried a game that I never thought I would. So while I've been streaming, I've actually made a list of games that I should try. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys like this list and also let me know any games that you think i should be playing all right so this is my list of games that i have to play that i haven't played yet so number one i have red dead redemption 2 elden ring ghost of tsushima 
God of War, The Last of Us, Zelda, Lies of P, Cyberpunk, The Walking Dead, Alan Wake 2, Witcher 3, Star Wars Fallen Order, Star Wars Survivor, Resident Evil 7, Outlast, and Until Dawn. So that's my current list right now of games that I have to try out. And I'll definitely make videos on it. I'm going to stream all these games. And I'm excited, man, because I've been playing Warzone, like I said, every single day. And it does get a bit repetitive. I still love Warzone. I literally play it every day. I don't really stream it anymore. I'm really stuck on Baldur's Gate 3, but I'm enjoying it. I mean, the fact that I could play a story mode game and get viewers is insane to me. So let me know if that list is good. Let me know if you guys like it. What, which games do you think I should add? I'm excited to play other games, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. As a kid growing up, I did play a lot of story mode games, but I kind of left that really focused on sports and Call of Duty. And uh, I guess the only story mode game that I was playing was Spider-Man. So yeah, as I said, in my journey, my character's Bartholomew, and I have been on this journey of trying to riz up Shadowheart. And man, it has been extremely hard. We ended up rizzing up Carlac, which is like a red lady with horns, and we actually clapped her cheeks. So as you see, I clapped her cheeks. So I have this rule with my character, Bartholomew, that he must clap every single cooter in the land of Baldur's Gate, okay? So any girl in this land is not safe from Bartholomew's Riz, all right? My boy wants every single girl in the land, and he's going to clap every single girl. And uh, honestly, we've been pretty successful, you know what I'm saying? Every single girl we talk to, they, they're into us somehow. Honestly, not only every single girl, because Astarian is absolutely in love with us as well. I don't know how it happened. He's my boy, but he gave me uppies. But yeah, as you guys can see, man, this game is so insane. There's so many crazy twists and stories, and I've had an absolute blast, man. But I just wanted to make this video because I haven't really posted on my YouTube in a while, and I wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been doing. So yeah, I've just been totally in love with this game, man. And if you guys are Baldur's Gate 3 fans, thank you for accepting me into your community. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love your game, and I can't wait to see what Act 3 is like, man. So if you guys want to watch the full VODs and my full gameplays, I did make another YouTube channel to post that. And I'll probably post another video on this channel, kind of my final thoughts of Baldur's Gate 3 when I'm done with it. And then we'll continue posting more consistent YouTube videos. I've been doing a lot of reacting content on my TikTok, and it's been doing well. We're actually super close to 1 million followers on TikTok, which is insane. Like, I never thought I'd even be close to that. I can't even believe it, but we're almost to 1 million on TikTok. And that's been purely recently through reacting content. So we're reacting to everything, giving our takes, and just kind of like making it funny, man. So I've had an absolute blast, guys. Hopefully... You guys have an amazing 2024. That's the goal, man, to grind all 2024. Hopefully, I can bring some sort of entertainment to you guys this year, whether it be through short form or through long form here on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're super close to 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And the goal is to hit 100K by the end of this year because I, I want that plaque, man. I want that 100K plaque. And I know we're going to get it. I believe in us. Hasbula believes in us. Bartolomeo the Stormtrooper believes in us. And I think we're going to hit it, man. So anyways, that was my story of a Spider-Man 2 fan that hated on Baldur's Gate 3. Ended up trying it. And now I'm in love with it, man. So if you haven't played it, make sure to try it. If you love Baldur's Gate 3, man, make sure to let me know in the comments below which run I should do next. I'm still learning all the lingo and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning, man. I still barely know how to do these fights. Like, the fighting and all that is so complex to me, and the whole D&D &D and, like, the, the dice rolling and the bonus actions and all that, I'm still learning how it works, but I'm getting better, bro. I've defeated multiple, multiple bosses, and the chat was doubting me a lot of the time, and I did it. Alright, guys, so another part that I love about this game is the fighting style. It's so unique because I've never played a game like this, but it's turn-based. So, basically, you do a move... And then your enemy does a move, and then you could do a move. It's, it's, it's like you're playing chess. And I've never played chess, but I play checkers, and that's close enough. You take turns. And there's strategies to this. There's a million different styles of moves, powers, spells, and a bunch of things. That's where it gets really complicated. I don't know even half of it yet. I'm still learning that, but it's like fun. It's a whole new game. You know, like I conquered Warzone. I know everything you could do in Warzone and Call of Duty, but it's really fun that I have a game that I could learn. And I could actually use my brain and I'm like, I feel like I'm in school. Like sometimes I'm streaming and I read the chat and I'm like, yo, I'm literally in school right now because I'm learning. Like I asked chat what I have to do. Like they're teaching me like Baldur's Gate 3 fans are like the smartest gaming community in the game in like the world, bro. They're so smart. It's weird. Their IQ has to be like a thousand because 
they memorize everything that happens they know where i'm at at all times they know who i have to talk to it's the craziest thing, bro. I'm telling you guys, this game's awesome. I'm absolutely enjoying it, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't play Baldur's Gate 3, thank you even either way for watching this video, man. I really appreciate it, guys. Again, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment below what you think about Baldur's Gate 3. Is it a W game? Is it an L game? And make sure to subscribe because we're posting so much content this year on our YouTube channel, man. And yeah, man, I love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah.